In this video, we'll look at how to find the scalar equation of a line given a point in a normal vector. So this is page 250 run, right out of your textbook. And we'll do 251 number 3a. So it gives us a point uh, 4, negative 2, and a normal vector of 2, comma 7. So the first thing we'll want to do is create another point. This was p0, so we'll just say let p, x comma y, be on the line, or be a point on the line. So we've got this other point here. And then we'll say, all right, if we were to join the initial point here, p0, and our newly created, don't know its coordinates, x comma y point, then we could make a vector from the initial point to our new point just by going uh, x, that is the coordinate of this p, take away the x coordinate here, and same thing with the y's. This would be y take away negative 2, or y take away negative 2 would be plus 2. So we get that expression. Now since we want this thing, this new vector should be in the direction of the equation, therefore it'll be perpendicular to the normal. So since it's perpendicular, therefore it's dot product should equal zero. In other words, if we take the dot product of the normal vector, 2, comma, 7, and dot product with this, we should get 0. So let's review what we did there. We created this vector from one point to the other using a point we made up in, with unknown coordinates x, comma, y, and then we said if this is in the direction of the line, then it must necessarily be perpendicular because that's what a normal vector is. So we know the dot product of the normal with this direction of the line vector has to equal zero. And now we just apply dot product. This is 2 times x minus 4 plus 7 times y plus 2 equals zero. That's just from the definition of dot product. You could watch the video on dot product if you want. Otherwise keep going. We expand by rainbowing or distributing that 2 into the brackets, and same thing with the 7, we just multiply it in the brackets. And all that's left now is to simplify. We have 2 x's, 7 y's, and then minus 8 plus 14 gives plus 6. And here we have it, the equation of the line in scalar form is 2 x plus 7 y plus 6 equals 0. So how did we do it? We created a point, x comma y, we said let that be on the line. We created a vector from the point given to our unknown point. And since this new vector we created is on the line, is a direction vector of the line, it has to be perpendicular with the normal vector. Therefore, their dot product equals zero. We expand and simplify, and we've got our equation.